Okay, so we can also get Chef, Painting, and the Mount Volbano. <laughs> yes, I'm going to cook me up a piracy. Don't ask, it makes no sense. But that's, that's just how this works. Oh, there's just moon right here. Sure, why not? Never mind, it wasn't right there. It was a lie. It was a lie. A lie. I don't know, I'm getting... How I've been streaming for seven hours now, and I'm getting kind of loopy. This is this is the problem. I'm uh, I'm um. Wait, I don't. Oh, got it. I was actually not not expecting that I'd, I'd be able to make this one. Huh. So we got that whole area there. There's a bird. And there's also extreme, extreme suicide. No, oh, extreme suicide worked out. I don't actually know how you're supposed to get. I assume you're supposed to get one of these guys first. Let's see, what do we got? I got something over here. It's all goopy. Anything here? Uh, I feel like I'm missing something, but no, that's probably to ah. Oh, this is secret, secret. Pretty sure this is dead end. You shut your mouth. And when we're actually dead. He was right. Oh yeah, I really am boss mafia. That's what I look like. Alright, so we've got a door there. Oh. We got a something here. Probably just nope. It's, it's a moon. Everything is a moon. Everything is a moon. Okay, we got anything else around here? What is this stuff? It, it says lava, but this really does. The, this is the polar bear factory. I understand it. I've cracked the code. So remember how in the last at level, the lava level, the polar bears were like bouncy as hell, and. We're like, we're effectively floating in a boiling sea of bubble gum. This is where the polar bears are made. No one, no one actually admits it because, like, it's a weird and screwed up secret that nobody will, ever wants to hear. But it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. I'm not crazy like a fox. I'm crazy like a sentient hat. Which makes even less sense. Question not. We. But the oh, I see how it works. Off we go. Okay, as usual, check for the ah shit. No fuck. Damn it, bread. Damn it. There's a consolation prize for. Um, yes.
the hell kind of weird nightmare is this? Ah! Yeah. <laughs> How freaking far can you fly? Okay, let's go to the left this time. Seeing as the other direction is full of nightmares. Oh. So that's how we're supposed to do this one. I understand now. This... This is madness. And Spartagonal. Okay. So now we want to... So, uh... There we go. Didn't die. Thought I was going to. Yeah, we had this whole area over here. Okay. And we're good. He had once I kind of understood, oh, you're supposed to slide as part of it to, uh, to get back onto the forks, I understand. I like how these guys are actually the oh. How did I survive that? How did I do this earlier? There we go, got it. Uh, we're done. Okay. Brrrap. This game is killing my neck. That's okay. Alright, uh, we got that done. Let's keep- let's just keep this train going. I feel like I'm just living a nightmare fever dream or something. I don't really know actually how to describe it exactly. Ow. Well, hey, I've got a fair amount of stuff. What do you need? Chef outfit? Yeah, okay. Wait, no, he says something if you have a partial outfit. Okay. Hey, nice chef hat there, but you got a matchy-matchy with the clothes. That's funny. I guess it makes sense that they would actually have dialogue for the, um... It makes sense that they would have dialogue for the, uh... For, like, an incomplete outfit. Obviously, you know, not that big of a deal, but... Kind of a neat thing. I don't know. Blah. <laughs> it's totally a chef outfit. I cook me up some booty. This here's a place where chefs come to dress to cook. And hey, hey, you got the clothes and the hat. Come right on in. Yeah, there is also a painter's outfit. Which makes perfect sense. We've got this pot on a good simmer. Really brings out the flavor. But you know what? Could be better. A little hotter. That'd do it. I just can't get any more heat from the lava. Nothing worse than a so-so simmer. Okay, that went poorly. I think I gotta take the slow way up or some... I, f I don't know. Whatever. Unless I'm just supposed to hop in with one of the, uh... Oh, okay, so there's the first step. And then there's another thing further in. Okay. Well, that works. 
Ah, shit. Well, might as well die at this point. Blah. 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 I'm losing a fair amount of cash on this level. Not that that's terribly surprising. Okay. So how does this work? Obviously, we've got these... ...pre-existing tomato spots, which it looks like they don't go away until I die. Which is actually rather helpful. We've got a... I think we've got it. Okay, just don't mess it up. And there we go. Got it. Do I think I'll get up to 900 deaths by the end of this game? Not specifically for this game, but I definitely will get up to 900 cumulative deaths for the year. Hell yeah. Blech. Headed out this way. Alright, well, we're racking up the moons. Now let's go be... Let's let's stop being a cook. I like the idea of being a cook, but at the same time, I could also be... Oops. Oh, that's... That's not it. Uh, let's see. You yeah, are. <laughs> I am the great pirate Bonesley. I'm not the man below it. I'm the bone. Get it right. I have almost no self-determination or locomotion whatsoever. I'm entirely reliant on this miscreant boob to get me through my day and my pirating business and everything else you are. It's a sad life. But you know what? You know what? You know what is better than being dead? 100%. Being dead sucks. Still dead, technically. At least I have, well, something. I get the feeling I need another another Goomba, but I can't, I don't... Game really is not meant to be played at a computer desk. I don't know if, it, if I needed to do this. No, it looks like very much I did not. At the same time, it is kind of fun <laughs> to just be, uh... I can't do much about the cheese, can I? I bet we actually have to destroy the cheese cheese thing first. You know, in retrospect... In retrospect... Wow, this is... This is not obnoxious in the slightest. Wow. Okay, I can kill those guys. I... Huh. Now, Dying. Dying slow. I really wish the enemies wouldn't respawn as fast as they do. Oh, 
Okay, can't can't go with that. Yeah, because the enemies respawn real quick. And so it's so unbelievably easy to just get murked here. It looks like actually the uh, the red turtles don't die. But yes, this is just noise after a while. Oh, there we go. Got this at the very least. You wish they won't have to respawn fast until you need one for the puzzle. I mean, I think it would be reasonable if they respawned um, for puzzles. Like, okay, give me one. As long as there's one in play, don't give me another one. I mean, imagine if, like, in the old Mario games, they kept respawning over and over and over again. It'd be obnoxious. Okay. All right, well, big pot on the volcano. Dive in. And there it is. It is a bird with a chef hat on. Huh. All right, anyway. We gotta go over here. Wait, these guys are still here? <laughs> Oh, they're still there. Those poor guys. And by that, I I feel no remorse. I succeeded. I just aimed myself at the giant block and just went bah. succeeded in demolishing this level yet. Time will tell. Also this view. Huh. Supposedly... Ah, shit. Yeah, the problem is he has the tendency to just start moving freely. Oh, I see. Part of it is I'm... I'm getting them. but it's not working perfectly. I'm gonna fall right into the, the damage pit at some point. And guaranteed, right? Probably. Kind of actually really impressed that I haven't managed to kill myself yet. Probably over here. In this giant mess, yep. Nope. Didn't get hit by it. Weird. Alright, sure, why not? Ow. My hands hurt. I've been playing this game for seven hours. Holy shit, I've been playing this game for seven hours. I don't I almost never play a game any game for like that long of a extended period. Usually I switch, but today has been a Mario day. And then some. Well, let's go confront that bird. I don't mind. Actually, I have to go pass out. I'd like to play more, but... 
I am uh, bushed. Well, that's okay. Okay, so this time let's not fall victim to the that thing. Okay. I see how this is supposed to work. Probably. So these guys will swim around. That's kind of cool. I'm sure there's more stuff that I need to get. There's whatever the heck that is. Doesn't look like there's... Uh, yeah, nothing immediately av uh, available above me. I'm just gonna focus on getting to the end here. The problem is, like, I think he's good, and then I miss, and then I hit the platform, and I think I'm fine, and then he runs off. Like a moron. Oh, it's okay. So here's the thing. If you don't care about losing, who cares? You can just do whatever. Alright. Well, let's keep going this up. Uh, brain dead. Ugh. Scary shit. Ow. Shit, this other one's good at. Ow. Okay, so we. Gotta. So we've effectively got to use this guy to get through the burning tomato puddles to get up here. Yep, okay. Moon of convenience! Pure convenience! I gotta, I gotta go up. Okay, I guess it's not so bad to get those. Now imagine if this was a time trial. God damn. That would suck. That would suck super hardcore. He looks so cheery while he's doing it too. That's the thing about this game. Mario is so happy to be inhabiting the bodies of other people. Fuck! The problem is we've got like a stupid amount of hang time here, which actually is kind of a pain uh, for timing those. And yeah, he will just fling himself off the pit if he has to. Okay, so we wanted to- what? We had like- uh... There's just something about this that I don't like. I think it has to do something with the vast imprecision of movement. 
I think part of it is like, this is actually for not hard, but comparatively, it's, it doesn't control like any of the other things I have. So. I really do need to go to bed. Huh. It's like, um, driving stick when you're always used to driving automatic. Or, I guess maybe a better, better example would be, um, driving in Europe when you're used to driving in America. Switching sides, like, what side of the car you drive on is actually kind of a nightmare. And not something that I would wish on other people. <laughs> like, it is so disorienting. I've only ever gotten the opportunity to do it once. One of my college friends had a, um, a left-driving car. Got it. Okay, redemption coins. Thank you. Thank you so much. Driving stick is best, though. I don't even like driving. The idea of the extra complications of driving stick is even worse. Like, I could see it if you're a huge car enthusiast and you want to have that level of control. But for me, as a person that has not driven in over a year? Ah, <laughs> the pass. Thank you very much. Oh, come on. That's why Uber exists. Yeah, but I can't Uber in a video game. That's son of a... No, I needed him. Well, I guess I can wait for him to come back. What is the point of this cheese block? Oh. Oh. Okay, then. I don't know what I'm doing with this thing. I just have it. I got it for some reason. idea. Put it in the stew. Oh. It's got to be the one back in town. Because it can't be the one here. There's, there's no way it can be the one back here. The square thingy. I can't reach with the square thingy. Shit. Can it be? It might have to be. It's just... Okay, please don't reset position. not so bad to get back to. Is it that thingy, though? It doesn't look like that thing. Well, I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, I could have just grabbed the unused moon for hearts. You're correct about that. I wasn't thinking. I was, I was too busy being confused. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a spot for the Golden Seed. To be totally honest with you. I don't know. I... I don't 